All right, hello, my fellow investors, Casey Intelligent Investor here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my Robinhood portfolio and updating you on what I'm doing there. But before we start the video, guys, if you guys want to help out this channel in any way and help me out in any way, then please use any of the three links in the description down below to sign up with either Robinhood, Acorns, or Fundrise. That'll help this channel out a lot. Now, I will be getting back to the stock giveaways in the next month or two. Um, I've been giving away a lot of my own money, so I've been trying to help people as much as I can. But, you know, right now at the move, I have to, you know, spend a lot of money to do my move. So I'm moving from California to Missouri. I'll be explaining on the next video why I'm doing that. It does have to do with some political things. So if you guys don't like political things, then I'm sorry if I upset you in any way. I'm not trying to set, upset anyone. I'm just trying to talk to you about my experience. But that'll be on the next video. I also um, was convinced to work as a full-time financial advisor for this company called Northwestern Mutual. They're really popular in the mid and East Coast. So I'm going to be working for them or we'll be working together and I'm going to become a full-time financial advisor. So like that, I'll still try to give you more and more information. And the reason I did get that job was not because of money. It was more because I actually want to help people succeed and have good lives. That's my goal. That's why I do these videos. I don't charge for anything in these videos. I don't do anything. I just recommend really good platforms. People have been constantly calling me to... um promote certain things in my channel and i don't want to do that i don't want to promote things like crypto and stuff like that that i just don't think are good for people you know i'm only going to recommend things that i know can help people succeed and stuff like that so um enough of all that let's jump to the video what stocks do i currently own i own six stocks at the moment i'm not going to own any more i still own acic blde apxt ccib i jumped back into Altria and ORC. So ACIC. Now we're all waiting for this merger date to happen. Now ACIC is looking really, 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 really good. For the next five years, I feel like this company is gonna blow up. Okay, now I feel like ACIC and BLDE are gonna coexist together in some way. I feel like they're gonna kind of be in the same market because BLDE is kind of like an uber right um people have their aircrafts and they do the service through blade okay blade does not own any um aircrafts they do own landing stations and they do own the company but they don't own aircrafts they're kind of like an uber they hire people outside um but i think that's where acic is going to play a part too once they start coming out with their aircrafts then I feel people that join Blade are going to be buying those aircrafts. So they're going to be using the Blade service while using the um, ACIC aircrafts. So I feel like ACIC is going to be a big part and Blade is going to benefit from that as well. So I think these two are the future, guys. I do believe that they are the future. Air travel or air taxis with clean energy are going to be a big thing for the future and i think they will blow up so i'm waiting patiently for those i'm not looking at it right now i'm just looking at the future of it and i'm not selling out of any of those at all not even a share um apxt i was planning on doing a string trade but not anymore i'm going to keep it long term i mean they're a company with zero debt they've done so good they've kept their balance sheets really 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 well um and i just think that they have potential to hit up about a hundred um, by the end of this year or the end of next year. I just feel like they can because everything they have in their company is really, really good. CCIV is just a potential. It is the riskiest from all these SPAC stocks that are here, um, but I still believe that they're going to do so good. Um, once they merge, I think the the stock is going to shoot up because the car is being released. If everything goes well, the car is being released this fall. So, um, Lucid Motors is going to finally have their vehicle out there, which is really going to help. If they get delayed again, which they were supposed to release their vehicle this summer, but they're moving it to fall. And if it gets delayed again, then that's going to bring the stock down. But if the car comes out, then this stock will go up. Now, Altria, it's, of course, what people call the sin stock, but they pay a great dividend. They've paid a great dividend for the past 50 plus years, and they are a dividend king. Um... And like I say, uh, it's it's all about people's choices, okay? People have the right to do whatever the heck they want. If they want to smoke, then let them smoke. They know the effects of smoking. 
but it's a company that's being profitable and i know the revenue has been okay but if you understand their balance books people are saying altria is kind of coming down but they actually aren't you have to pay attention that they spent about 200 million to release their products to do their whole you know work their workforce and they make about 10 billion dollars and that was a low end 10 billion dollars was the low end but they still made about 9.8 billion dollars okay because their their cost is low then you know they, they're still profiting a lot they still have a big cash flow so altria is still a good company it's a really good company even though they'll still bring all these regulations people are still going to smoke people like the nicotine they're going to smoke so this company is going to be there for a good while and i think they're eventually going to adapt to something that's still going to be addicting it's just what it is so um Ultra, as you see, I'm down about $16, but they're going to pay off a dividend, then I'm going to get about $86, so I'm technically going to be up. And that's the thing that I like about dividend stocks, Altria and Orchid Cap Island Capital, they're dividend stocks, so just by holding this equity, you're getting a percentage back. And that's the reason I like dividend stocks. When a market is down like this, companies like Churchill, Apex, they're not making me money. I'm just waiting for them to blow up, but something like Altria... I just keep the money. I hope it stays around that price. And each time I get paid a dividend, I reinvest it and it gives me more. Okay. And that's the goal for these companies. This is a company that's growing my equity quickly. Same thing with Orchid Island Capital. This pays a monthly dividend as a dividend yield of 13.80%, which is really, really good. It's really high, but it's really risky. As you see, they did pretty well. And they've kind of gone down last quarter, so that's the reason this company went down. It was at a pretty good price up here. It was uh, it was even higher. I don't know where it was at. It was pretty high up here in the 70s, but it dropped because of those earnings calls. But they're still paying that good dividend, and as long as they're paying that dividend, then I'm going to keep this stock. And if anything changes where they're going to cut their dividend or anything happens, I'm going to be aware of that, and I will sell out of it. But this is the riskiest stock in my portfolio at the moment but i'm going pretty aggressive at the moment so i can grow this portfolio to ten thousand again and that's what i want to do once i hit ten thousand again i'll be taking out some money or transferring more into my um fidelity account and then redoing it again and like this i'm constantly showing people here that they can increase their portfolios on robin hood with basic easy stocks you don't need a lot of money to increase your portfolio my goal here is to show that even people with the least amount of money can make money. And I know a lot of those YouTube channels out there that are more popular than mine are because they have 100,000, all that stuff. I can show you that. But for me, it's not realistic. I'm not connecting with a lot of people. The majority of the people in Robinhood have a couple of hundred dollars or a couple of thousand dollars. And I'm trying to show people that with that little amount of money, you can go a long way. You can start from somewhere. You can do certain trades that will get you to those goals. And that is my goal here, guys. Um, I can be showing you all that money I have and all that stuff, but that's not going to get you anywhere. You're just going to illusionize yourself with, oh, hey, look, this guy has a certain amount of money or he has 100000 or he has $2 million. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to follow him and just do what he's doing. No, it's not going to be the same thing. OK, because here I have growth stocks. I have certain stocks that I don't have on my main portfolio. On my main portfolio, I do have safer stocks with good dividend yields that I'm just letting them grow on its own. OK, I have stocks like Pepsi and stuff like that where. You know, when they pay me a dividend, it, it just because I have a good amount of it, it's a high number. And once that high number gets reinvested, it's actually compounding really well. But with here, I cannot have a company like Pepsi because the amount that I have is won't be a good enough return to make my portfolio grow quicker. So ORC, I do not have it on Fidelity. Altria, I do have it on Fidelity, but I have less shares of it. But ORC is a company I wouldn't have in Fidelity. And APXC is something I don't have in Fidelity. CCIV, I don't have in Fidelity, but I do have Blade and ACIC. So I do balance my portfolio like that. Um, here in Robinhood, I do have ORC because I want this portfolio to go quickly. And this is the only way I'm going to do it. I'm going to take a bigger risk. 
but the reward would be higher and i'm constantly going to be paying attention to it just in case anything bad happens i won't lose all that money um but i've been ranting too long about it this is pretty much what i'm doing um please comment down below i want to know how you guys are doing what you guys are trading and i will honestly guys make that next video that i hope you guys like i know i'm gonna get political about it people are gonna hate me for it but i'm just gonna be honest and truthful with you guys because this is what i'm doing in this channel like i said i am a financial advisor i am not giving you financial advice by any means in these youtube videos if you guys want to you know real financial advice then you can hire me through my company and like that we could take it from there but um that's about it guys um thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are making a lot of money and i will see you guys next time